used for his beard. This is a fake beard. I took little snippings of this. Mm -hmm. Anyway, hi. And now my beard smells like whatever you had on that. Paint thinner. Thank you so That's much. That's all right. I wanted to look a little thinner on camera. You had spills all over the other night of paint, and you put paint thinner all over you. Did you get high? Oh, my, every <laughs> night after after 420. It's a free country, isn't it? By the way, just so a uh, furniture guy's update, we have not yet been uh, sent to the internment camp. Not yet. So we're going to do more furniture projects for your pleasure. Because everyone loves it. Yeah. Look what we got here. This is a beautiful table. It's about 85 years old, I, I think. I would say so. Uh, it's 19 teens, 20s, right. thereabouts. And it's got a beautiful uh, burl in the center here, which you can't see because of the old shellac. It's horrible. But it's got uh, the the apron is in good condition. Very good condition. The only thing I'm going to tackle here is the very center. And I'm going to use a little bit of denatured, denatured alcohol. alcohol. Now you've seen a strip before with the paste remover and that's good for just about anything. But with shellac finishes, they'll come off with just denatured Shirt alcohol, because if you remember when we put on shellac finishes, we mix it with denatured with alcohol. So and why what we can put it on with, we can take it off. And you know why it's denatured? Because they've made it harmful, so you can't drink this, no matter how much you like gin or something. Don't do it. Don't do that. Don't drink gin either. No. So what That's I what got... That's Kellyanne Conway I, I put some of this in here, and I'm just going to brush it on around the circumference of... This table. Yeah, the uh, the apron, the outer carvings, and this beadwork that just needs a little cleaning. It that, doesn't need to yeah, be. Yeah, that'll good. that may get a little touch up, but I was I just want to get this wet now. So, you, do you, you think this table was used as a cocktail table, and that's what made I the so. alcohol-based finish come up? Well, that's why the cocktail hour. Uh, you know, they had to invent other things right. because Poly you spin it, you spin a spill a gin and tonic or something on a shellac finish. Or as a lot of people do on vanities, women uh, they'll they'll spill uh, the uh, and nail men, polish. And men who care about their appearance, like yes. much of our crew, they're all heavily moisturized. Sure. You know what I don't get? What? Here's this is something I don't get. I like a bar of soap. Right. Body washes. I don't get it. Like I like a bar of ivory, a bar of palm olive. Yeah. By the way. What? When I picked up the ivory this morning, yeah. there was a little black hair on it. <laughs> Could you stop it? <laughs> See, I like body washes. That'll be good. I hope not. Now here, watch. Could have been from the top of his head. You can already see there's bubbling and stuff. So I'm gonna put some paper towel. Uh, perhaps the camera's picking this part up and perhaps not. This top is in set. He wouldn't, he might not have put this much finish on it if he didn't know this apron was holding it in. It, and the other thing we did was we leveled the table to make sure it wouldn't spill off or flap over the end. Because if there's anything I hate, it's when I flap over the end. Reach over there and give me that orange glove. The orange glove. There should be two of them there. Do you want two? Yeah, I would like two. I'll I make have, another trip. Because I have two hands. Like I did when uh, me okay. and Serena Williams went out. <laughs> I can make two, two trips. trips. That's like the old joke of the giraffe and the mouse, was it? I don't know, but I one one old joke per segment. That's the FCC rule. Now what are you doing? Pouring some alcohol on these paper towels. But but why he feigns? Because I need them to soak. Ah, that will draw out and dissolve the old finish. Now, could you have just filled this up to the brim? I don't want to do that because I don't want anything dripping down. So this is going to, this is going to, in effect, help in dissolving the old finish, which will then be scrubbed away with some steel wool, and you're going to be surprised when you see the most beautiful of burls. I'm always surprised. Although not on Milton Burls. So, shellac, um, just about the oldest clear coat or finish. It comes from the Tacardia Laca. Ah, the bugs, the originally bugs. discovered by people in Inja, with absolutely no help from their colonial oppressors. 
the uh, Picardiolaca, little bug, swarms on the branches of the plum tree. Sounds like this. I know, they're at it again, they say. They're outside eating the plum blossoms and then secreting something on the branches of the plum trees that they have denuded of fruit. No kidding. They and eat, they actually eat the interior of the twigs mm -hmm. and the branches and then they... They, they secrete out they of some se portion of their body. They never let me get that, that, that uh, they, they never get, let they, me they, get they, that close to see which Orpheus so it's they, coming from, it's, it's, from which it comes. It's secreted, where's my bag of, here, stay there, stay there. I'll continue to prattle. Look. So they eat, they excrete, <laughs> And then it's all And then they boiled. beat the heat. It's boiled down, and then it's pulled into huge sheets. Yes, it's and elastic and amber in and color. And it turns into this. These are real shellac flakes. And they, uh, you, you mix these. You put these in a container. By the way, you can see them dissolving in his hand right now because his hand is denatured alcohol. He just ruined that whole bag, by the way. Now look, I'm going <laughs> to... Oh, yeah, it's coming off. The barrel is... Wait, it's... It's melted in a dress <laughs> with the lipstick and the mold. I swear I'll kill you. you a million I'll times. kill you a million yeah. times. Watch Say, kill. Kill. Say kill. 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 Hurry! The film is about to start. Give me your tickets. Enjoy the show! Hey, you missed a spot. I, I missed a spot. Look, you're dripping all over the floor. You made the hole too big. So I'll get them off and clean it up. Oh, this, this is awful. I wish I was dead. You are dead, stupid. Uh, well, you, I got up first. Well, I should have stayed dead. We both should have. I'll tell you one thing. What? I'll never work for the living again. I hope they don't give us a check. I want cash. Cash. Mmm, smells better than ever. Hey, Joe, come back. We're on television again. Look. Or the internet or something. This is our stick. Ah, oh, a stick. paint stirrer. Yeah. Well, it's a scraper. But look, I'm going to get this. See, because you never want to scra uh, scrape. Look at this. Look at what's going on. It's mahogany. Do you see all this? There's a lot of remover on there. Oh, my God. Look at this. Sacrificing our health for our art once again. See, now I'm using a, a wooden uh, paint stirrer, actually, just to get this off. I don't want to use anything metal on here. Wood to wood is fine, but... Uh, Especially a soft one. I would only use metal on, like, a heavy painting something. Or oak, perhaps. Yeah, but this is, this is coming off good. It's coming off good. I want to get some paper towels over here. So this just sat for a few minutes. It dissolved very, very quickly. Well, the, the finish was old and dried out. Right, denatured alcohol will just dissolve the finish. Instead of putting lots of, you know, gooey stuff on there. And wood chips and all of that. Yeah. Look, I know the old fashioned refinishers always stripped with denatured alcohol and steel wool because uh, most of the old fashioned finish was shellac. Right, and shellac, is one of my favorite finishes, although not for a top surface such as this, mm -hmm. because you want something a little more protective. Not that the shellac isn't, but you know what's evident is you put a tape, you put a um, a, uh, a glass on here, and you're going to get a white ring very quickly. I, you promised me you'd never say white rings uh, this time around. The fans, God bless them, they need to know about white rings. Okay, now I got most of this absorbed. Now I'll have some of this, which is the steel wool. And you see this oh, coming So out. easy. Uh, a word about the style of this table. Look, and it's book matched, you see. You see. That means the veneer was split down the middle, yep. opened up like a book, so it's symmetrical. Just like the bed. Mm -hmm. It's a uh, Duncan Fife style table. 
some people would call it a pie crust table since simply because the top is round. Duncan Fife was America's or the United States first famous cabinet maker, even though he wasn't even born here. He was born in Scotland. Was but, it true his brother was Barney Fife? Uh, that is a matter of conjecture. Uh, I know the Mayberry Public Library states it so, but they have a vested interest. Um, Duncan Fife came to New York in his 20s and started as a joiner. Turned My uncle was a joiner. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he'd go to the bar, he'd join anybody. And later a cabinet maker, which is a little more exalted. And while he didn't invent any of the styles in which he worked, he mostly adapted European, particularly British styles of the Regency and then the, well, you might call it the Empire, but the... That's the, up here. Right, the, those, that's what the French called it. The British wouldn't call it anything the French called it. They'd call it the Regency. But notice down at the bottom, you have a, a three-leg pedestal. <laughs> that has been called a Duncan Fife leg with a center post there that replicates an urn or perhaps you would call it a vase or a vase and then three legs that replicate a kind of animal or human leg with a knee and a tapered ankle and a foot. That is a Duncan Fife pedestal. I like a Duncan Hind myself. More delicious. You know what they not you, know what, you know what they don't make anymore, no. which I used to love? The Duncan Hines Boston cream pie. But it was really a cake, but they called it a pie for some reason. And you had to bake it? Well yeah. My well, mother well, used had to, to put it. the cream in. Where'd you get the cream? It was like a cream? custard. It was like a custard. It came in a separate thing? Yeah, and you had to whip it up. Yeah, it was really? Good. Yeah. She did all that? That was a box mix. What do you mean? When the moon hits shine <laughs> like a beat. Pizza pie. Giacomo that's, made the wood pizza. That's the morning. Hey, we're back with the burl table that has now been stripped, completely cleared of old shellac. Right, now, just as a precautionary measure, because I am going to put a poly on this, which is going to be a lot more protected than the shellac, but I am going to put a sealer coat on of the de wax shellac from the good people at Zinzer uh, Bullseye. They, we love uh, you. Will you love us, please? I, I, you know, I think in my 38 years of doing finishing work, I've used this more than anything else. Actually, you don't look that old. Uh, right. Well, I'm not. I'm actually 12. Uh, but the uh, de wax shellac, if you remember, we put some in a container, and the, the liquid, the milky liquid, which is the wax kind of substance, that's not good to put on a surface if you're going to put a poly on it because there's adhesion problems. Right. But the sealer coat is literally making it easier to adhere the poly to the wood. Well, the, the, the de wax nature of you know, letting that stuff settle and then spooning off the top clear liquid. That's the de wax shellac. So I'm gonna- It's a lot like cooking, only dead I've already got some here in my goblet. This is the chalice from the palace. Uh, it's the got the- pellet the, the pellet the, with the, the poison. The chasley with, with the, the pasley. The chasley with the poison in the fling. So I'm gonna put this on, you see this jump out. Oh baby, oh baby. Tonight we'll play Danny Kay and Lawrence Olivier, all right? <laughs> 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 at, good, the air, at the airport. Good friends. <laughs> There's another endorsement we'll never get. <laughs> so this we is, like to make friends. This is going to dry quickly because it is alcohol based. It's a solvent release finish. When the alcohol goes off in the air, the drying begins. It leaves behind. Oh, hard yeah. Thing. Oh, yeah. So this is going to dry, and then it's going to get sanded with the, uh, wherever it was, 320 silicone carbide paper, and then after that, we're going to put a coat of poly on. So the uh, next thing we're going to see is, uh, I don't know. Days of Future Past. So, put it on. Oh. Come on, Days of Future Past. No, 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 no. How about Inagata De Vida? Only if you play it at back. 78, because what? that drum solo can only last 30 <laughs> seconds to me, or I... I I lose so many synapses. Okay. I give a oyster and I blow out my whole yes. medulla. Yeah. My baby. Got a cadenza. He got white rings, white rings all over his top. My baby got a cadenza. Got white rings, white rings all over his top. Don't get out of the way. No, no, no. Right there. there. See the bubbles right in the center there? Nobody sees it. I know. Well, the bubble's right in the center there. See the bubble? 
Now throw the dot away. I had it the other way already. Okay. And they bicker and Good, slip. good, good, good. This so, is so when he puts the poly on it, it doesn't slosh over the side and mess up your gazhachkas. Yeah, because it'll, it'll, it'll like flow over to one side if it's not level, and then you'll have a, bar, a problem. Uh -huh. So here, this, uh, we put the shellac, the de-wax shellac. I just sanded it lightly with some 320 paper, and now I'm going to put on the protective coating, which is the polyethane. Hey, notice that, again, we haven't done a darn thing to the legs, pedestal, or the beautifully carved apron with bead work up at the top. Now, that's going to be taken care of, which is some other part. Yeah, it, it's not scratched or marred, and the finish is good. It's just a little dull. It'll be revived very soon. Notice that the uh, apron has gorgeous, what we like to call, um, neoclassical designs on it. Again, Duncan Fife used them extensively, working in the early neoclassical revivalist period, sometimes called the federal period in this country. Um, uh, the, the great designer, interior designer, furniture maker, and artist known as Robert Adam kind of created a whole language that he uh, really invented after he saw all the paintings at Pompeii. We're back to Pompeii again. Yeah, well, look, when after Rome fell and everything Did it? came into ruins, I mean, what did you have left? You had some buildings, but you didn't have a lot of art. It was all painted over, it was all destroyed, and it wasn't until Pompeii that they literally discovered how people lived and how they ornamented their houses. And a lot of artists and designers, including a guy named Adam went there and just drew everything and made book after book of the paintings and the uh, and the designs that he found on the walls and then he he almost literally created a hieroglyphic language that he used to ornament the houses that he and his uh, brother designed the Adams brothers Is that Gomez and Charles that was Robert and oh God. Nick, who later played Johnny Yuma. Nick Adams. Yeah. <laughs> on The Rebel. Okay, that's it. So we're gonna let that dry. We'll see how it flows out. Flowing out, you know, you have brush marks. This is what's good about uh, the oil-based finishes. When it leaves, you have a brush mark. Because it's a slow drying finish, clear coat, it has time to, as they say, flow out. Whereas latexes and stuff like that, not that they're not good, it's just that they have their different applications for different projects. But for something like this, it would still leave brush marks because it would dry faster than it will take this to dry. It'll e literally even out, and as it flows out, of course, it doesn't flow off the table. No, it won't. It's not that thick. Good. But look, see that? It looks beautiful. I'm going to put it back down here. And that's it. So when next you see us, we'll be uh, well, I think two Mrs. parts of a horse. Mrs. Right? Faversham is coming to pick this up. <gasps> Mrs. Faversham? She's going to be here, so it's got to be done by tomorrow. Horses, horses, there's a lot of horses, horses all of the time. Some old uh, lemon, uh, old English lemon oil, uh, putting on this to clean it up because it really doesn't need finishing. It's got a real nice patina on. What are you shaking? Will you for? hurry? Oh, why do you mean? Uh, Mrs. Faversham, look at the time. She's I gonna know. be here. Oh, here you are. Oh, Mrs. Faversham has arrived. <laughs> it looks absolutely spectacular. I think so. Now, uh, give us some history of this table. This was my bocce, my grandmother's table. It's approximately a little over 100 years old. It looks better now than it ever did. And uh, I'm going to use it at my house. Well, for, for what? what? A pizza table. I will deliver. <laughs> it's a large. <laughs> that's, a, that's an extra large. No, really. Um, actually, I'm going to use it uh, in my foyer. Mm. Well, it's gorgeous. gorgeous. We'll drop it off some point. Please. Okay. Right in front of a mirror so it reflects into the mirror, maybe? That's yeah, a great yeah. idea. Good, good. It's all okay. <laughs> anyway, I'm Joe Lorario. And I'm Ed Feldman. This is our big chance. And, and remember. Remember. Be nice to your furniture. There you go. Set it for <laughs> Horses, horses. There's a lot of horses. Horses all of the time.